All right, Shalom on Israel, giving all praise to you. How about you now? Shout double honors to the elders of GMS who rule well. Uh, salutations to the Akim out there um, in the highways of Bible's pushing this word and truth and sincerity. All praise to you. How about you now? Shah. Um, if I didn't already say it, affinity honors to you. How about you now? Shah. So I'm going to make this a quick lesson. Um, I'm recording from my cell phone, so I don't really have much storage. But we're just going to get into the identity of Esau, the Edomites. And when you read Genesis, you know, uh, out of Isaac, Jacob and Esau was born. Uh, Jacob being the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Esau being the so-called white man, the Caucasians of the Bible, okay? Esau was red and hairy, which the only people that's red on earth and that's very hairy are the so-called white man, the Edomites, okay? So we're going to jump to Job 30, chapter 30, verse 1. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have to stay in the set with the dogs of my flock. Right. So Job said, they that are younger than I, younger than I have me in derision. Derision meaning uh, mockery, to, to ridicule. Like, for for instance, they was talking about Pete Diddy selling um, the, 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 the Panthers, the Panthers team. And it was like, oh, smoking blunts and drinking 40s. We in mockery right now to Esau. So Job was prophesying of the future captivity of Israel. Speaking of, they are younger than I because they came. They was the last nation to come about. You see, they was the last nation. So they that are younger than I have me in derision. Uh, uh, whose fathers I would have disdained to set with the dogs in my flock. Because obvious, you know, articles keep coming out that they're about uh, bestiality. They're about having sex with animals. You know, donkeys, anything they can screw, they're going to have sex with it. They have tapes out there where they let a dog screw them. They let a horse screw them. I mean, that's why Job said, I would disdain, I would have a uh, repulse to, to even leave them among my animals because they would screw them. Verse 2, Yea, where to might the strength of their hands profit me? And who old age was perished? For what in famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness, in former time desolate and waste. Right, because at a time, the so-called white man wasn't as big as he is now. Esau wasn't as big as he is now. You know, at a time, he was want and he was in desolate. So he was solitary, he was fleeing from famine because they kicked him out, you know, of, of the lands he was in. Because he was always about stealing and robbing from people, you see what I'm saying, and, and killing people. Pursuing to his blessing of Esau, you should be blessed with the sword, and the sword thou shalt live. So, verse 4. Who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat, which is a herb. A herb that, you know, increases in plenty of things like testosterone. Uh, you can look it up. You know, it's juniper roots in the Bible, but it's I believe it's a different name now. But it has a whole bunch of health benefits. But the scripture of Job saying that they, they used that for me to um, strengthen them, you know, because they was weak. So they used the herb, like the scripture say, the herb should be to you as meat. And um, verse 5, they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as a thief. Right, because history will tell you in itself. That the so-called white man, all he does is rape, rob, and murder and steal things. He has no culture of his own. He has no 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 ability to, 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 to have sympathy for people. He's about murder, robbery, and thievery. So people have forced him out of the land. And that's what Job is talking about. This is Job uh, uh, chapter 30, verse 5. They were driven forth from among men, meaning they pushed them out of the land. They cried after them after a thief. Right, because history will tell you the Shogun White Man is the biggest thief. Okay? And he's all about thievery. So, verse 6 To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Right, so that was the indication of Esau living in the caves of the earth. Now, when you look up the word Caucasian, what does it mean? Uh, uh, native to the Caucasus Mountains, i.e., a uh, uh, cave dweller. Okay, so that means the people Caucasians lived in the caves. 
So the scripture says they dwelt in the cliffs of the valleys and the caves of the earth. So they lived in the caves of the earth. So the only people on the earth that identify by living in caves are Caucasians. Look it up. Etymology dot etymology online etym online dot com and you can look dot org and you can look up everything I'm saying. To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys and the caves of the earth and in the rocks. So these are the only people in the whole entire earth that ever lived in caves, i.e. the name Caucasians, cave dwellers, okay? This is the identity of Esau in the Bible. You can't get around it. Esau, Edom, which biblically are not promised any mercy. The very, very rivals of Israel, Unigos, Latinos, and Arab Americans. Verse 7, among the bushes they braid, meaning braid meaning to make a donkey noise. You see the, the cave people, that's how they make their noise. Yes, you were the original caveman, so-called white man. You were the original caveman, okay? Which is the biblical Edomites, okay? That's your nationality. Edom, Esau, okay? It's no longer white people. It's no longer Caucasian. It's Esau, Edom, okay? Uh, excuse me. It's a lot, y'all. I don't mean for y'all to see that. But we've been. Okay? Other than those, they were gathered together. Verse 8. They were children of fools, Jay. The children of base men. They were violent in the earth. And that's why you see, you know, they can eat. Eat swine's flesh. You know, they eat. Dead animals, you know what I'm saying? They, it's a whole bunch of articles of vile things they do. They, they they legalize homosexuality, which is a vile thing in the eyes of the Lord. You know, these are the things they do, okay? And they want everybody else to do it, to be as vile as them. And it says, uh, verse 9, And now am I their song, yea, I am their byword, right? I mean, niggas, respects. Oh, you niggas are lazy. Oh, you niggas are murderers. Oh, you spigs. You, you intruders. You got to get up out of our land. We've become their bower. Okay? And this is what Job is prophesying. Verse 10. They abhor me, meaning they hate me. They flee far from me, and they spare not to spit in my face. And they do that every day. They kill another black man. They kill another Spanish man. Every day, man. And, 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 and they spare not to spit in my face. They don't have no shame about it. They do it and they're like, whatever, get over it. Okay? Verse 11. Because he have loosed my cord and afflicted me, they have also let loose the bridle before me. Right. Uh, verse 12. And upon my right hand rise the youth. They push away my feet and they raise up against me the ways of their destruction. They mar my path, they set forth my calamity, they have no helper. They came upon me as a wide breaking in of waters, and a desolation they rolled themselves upon me. Tells are turned upon me, they pursue my soul as the wind, and my welfare pass away as cloud. Right. Because they don't pity us. Even though they're supposed to be our brother, they don't pity us, you know? Which we're supposed to, we were supposed to be brothers, man. Jacob and Esau. We came out of the same father and the same mother. But Esau broke the brother, brotherly covenant. They don't treat us as brothers. They treat us as an enemy. So, as a result of that, they're going to have to fill the rod of the Lord, you know? So, a big thing now in the news is... Uh, you know, um, Esau showing his horns pretty much how he hates Jake. You know, Donald Trump is in office. So they don't hesitate to, uh, to really spit in the people of the Lord's face. You know, they don't hesitate. So uh, we're just going to give a quick uh, uh, scripture for Esau. You know, piggybacking on what I just read. So this is Obadiah. It's one chapter. Um. Uh, Verse 3. The pride of thy heart have deceived thee, thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, mind, who shall bring me down? 
So what I wanted there was dwelleth in the clefts of the rock. Further piggybacking of you living in the caves. So you dwell in the you you dwell in the clefts of the rock, okay? Whose habitation is high, right? Because the caves. That's why you have the Empire State Building. You have all these high rise buildings. That said, in his heart, who should bring me down to the earth? Thou exalt thyself as the eagle. What is the America's emblem? The eagle, the ball eagle, to be exact. Okay, America, uh, Nazi Germany, uh, 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 Russia, they all represent themselves as eagles. So you exalt thyself as the eagle. I mean, present yourself as an eagle, and thou, though thy set thy nest amongst the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. And then jump it down to verse six. How are the things of Esau searched out? So clearly showing you that this paragraph, these 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 terms are about the biblical Edomites. Okay, so how are the things of Esau searched out? How are the hidden things sought up? Okay, and we're gonna jump to verse ten. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and and thou shalt be cut off forever, for your violence against your brother, because we were brothers. But you don't treat us like brothers. You destroy us. You persecute us. You oppress us. You slander us. And make our names run through the, mur the mud in America. And all over the earth. You, you paint us as terrorists. You paint us as thugs. So for thy violence against your brother Jacob. Shame shall cover thee. And y'all shameful. That's why every time you see a Negro Latino Native American. Especially Negroes. You get scared. So for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and you're shameful, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And that's about to come very soon. You see all this tension with Donald Trump and North Korea. That's not going to blow over. It's about, to, it's about to hit its forefront. And you know what's going to happen as a result? The end of America. Thermonuclear warfare. And after that, a thousand years of slavery, and you're going to have to serve us for all the heartaches and headaches and oppressions you have gave to our people. You're going to have to pay for it. So all you Edomites out there, listen to this very carefully. And I might only get one or two, three views for this video. But listen very carefully. Whether or not you view my channel or not. Whether or not you believe that the Lord is dealing with you or not. Whether you think you have the truth and that the Lord God himself is dealing with you. Yahweh Shah, The God of this Bible. If you believe, you can convince yourself that he's dealing with you. That's not going to stop your judgment. For the scripture has said, you reap what you sow. So you can watch our videos, the government. You, you, you can spy on us. You can come down. You can even kill some of us. But that's not going to stop your judgment, okay? You're going to have to pay for what you've done, okay? You know? And I'm going to get one more scripture. Uh, it's a, it's a lot of meat in there. Uh, I'm gonna jump down to Obadiah verse fifteen. For the day of the Lord is next. Uh, upon all the heathens, right. Including the Gentiles, okay, is a difference. There's two type type of Gentiles in the scriptures. The Israelite foreigners and you other nations, okay? Because the Bible is Israelite centric. It only dealt with Israel, okay? During the time of Egypt, the bondage that we had to serve there. It was talking about Israel, okay? Israel, Israel, Israel. Okay? And you other nations are the heathens. So as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. That reward should return upon thy own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mind. What does it mean to drink upon the holy mind? It means to prosper off of the backs of our people. So shall all the heathens drink continually. Yea, they should drink and they shall swallow down. And they should be as though they had never been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there should be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. So very soon Esau. Uh, so called white men, Arabs, Chinese, Japanese, uh, uh, um, uh, all you other nations. We're about to possess your possessions. And we're going to come down on you. 
according to the Bible, okay? And I'm only reading what the words say. So you can prepare yourself, you can prepare martial law, you can prepare everything you want to do. You can come down, you can behead us. Do what you need to do. But the Heavenly Father, word shall stand. And you reap what you sow. You will pay for the crimes of your ancestors, okay? And I'm going to get one more, one more first. And I'm going to call it. Isaiah 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. What is the iniquity of your father? Slavery. So prepare slaughter for them. For the iniquity of their father. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. So that's the judgment. Clean, clean to the point. Uh, identifying Edom, according to the Bible, identifying his judgment. Okay? And you're going to serve us very soon. And if you can't sympathize the oppression that we face now, you're going to sympathize with uh, uh, our oppression very soon. Because you're going to feel it. Okay? It's going to be your turn to drink of the cup. Okay? You're going to go through the hardships. You're going to go through the curses. So give it all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Shah. Hope you brothers are edified. Um, this is not particularly hate speech, but just bringing up what the Bible says, okay? We believe in the Bible. If the Bible didn't say it, we wouldn't be saying it. So this is not particularly hate speech, but this can classify what the Bible says, okay? We're just reading the words of God as it is written, okay? We're not making anything up. You can look up all uh, we have said. That's why we quote 